I was gonna say that I don't want to talk very loud and then I was like you guys are gonna hear me but I brought my microphone with me so we're gonna talk like this for the beginning clip but good morning we're starting this little week of my life on Monday I thought I heard yelling I'm about to go grab a little coffee a little yogurt and then we're gonna come back and I have like two videos to edit and then we're gonna go to the gym because the gym's packed right now because I'm down in Bloomington you can't tell this is not my room but the gym is packed currently right now at this time of day so i'm gonna go a little bit later when it's not oh my god the, these under eyes what what's going on with that let's go pick up coffee just listen oh of course they stopped there it is i'm on the lookout for deer there's just deer all in everybody's yard here i can literally never and when i mean never i mean never like leave like tiles like off of my car because i kid you not lately like it just starts raining it's just been raining so bad here anyway i have a whole lot to do today like i said i'm filming I'm not filming i'm editing two videos today i think me and sarah might be filming a podcast episode today i have to go plan that before I start editing. Maybe I'll go on a walk later. Isaac is gonna be gone all day. Like everybody's gonna be gone from the house all day because they go and do like their thing during the day. Oh my gosh, yesterday, cause it just reminded me because I'm driving by the tennis courts that are like in Isaac's neighborhood. And we played pickleball yesterday and it was extremely frustrating, but it was so fun. And I wanna like actually get God, the shadow made me think that somebody was in the seat and they were just kindly waiting for me to stop talking before they murdered me but anyway um i can't wait to get good at it because i'm not good at it i actually recorded it too so maybe i'll put it in right here you know what i'm going to tell myself practice makes perfect and i'm never good at anything that i just tried for the first time so practice <laughs> You don't have to leave the phone. Let this. You gotta let this. Not in the name. That would have been out, man. Really? I stepped in the kitchen. Yeah. If it's a short hit like that, you obviously gotta play. I'm sorry if it's in the kitchen. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Yeah. Wait, was that a serve? No, I didn't. I didn't. That was in. That was in.
Up here. Thank you so much. Okay. Light my candle. I see. Hold on. Literally, all of those candles right there. Because yesterday, Bath and Body Works had a sale on their candles for their 12 bucks. And all of their fall scents just came out. And I really love fall. And since July is practically over. I'm ready for it to smell like pumpkins and apples and caramel and coffee. I have a few things work-wise I need to do before I start editing. I'm gonna look over the notion and see what themed episodes that we have. Just logged out of mine. Did I just get logged out of the bookmarked notion? What's going on? I literally don't know. The coffee's good today. It's just quite simply not loading. La la la. Like, Okay, let me see if it's on my phone. Well, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I just ran to Target. I didn't vlog it because I was literally just running in and out, but I got a few things that I want to show you guys. First of all, Isaac talked me out of getting a Stanley Cup yesterday when we went to Dick's. So I got this, and this is in a Walla one, and it literally looks just like the Stanley. And you'll be asking, Destiny, if you have your Stanley, why did you get this? Because I want to keep this here. I got this because I wanted it and it's such a cute little color, but I wanted to keep this here because sometimes like if I forget my Stanley, like I'm just somebody that likes to drink out of a, a cup like this. And so if I forget my Stanley, I don't ever have to worry about like bringing the Stanley down with me now because I got this and it's like the same exact size and everything. But I love the Owala and I didn't even know that people liked these, but I, my Spider-Man water bottle that I take with me every single day to the gym, the Spider-Man one that I've talked about before, that's an Owala. And I got it because it was spurred me, but it's like so good. It keeps the ice cold for literal days. So happy and excited about that. So I went to Target because I was going to be nice and I was going to make the guys brownies for when they get home because I mentioned something about brownies yesterday and they were all like, oh, that sounds good. So I got some to make later for when they come home. But then of course I walked past the clothes and I had to stop and get some and I got some of these pajama bottoms, these pink and red ones, these green ones. And then I also had to get a refill on my Cherry Slush Alani's because I always need them when I'm down here. And then guess what I found? I found the Kim Aid Alani's that just came out, but I'm going to try these today on the podcast when we film them. So I'm not going to try these quite yet. As you guys know, me and Alani, we're like this. But I'm about to change and start my day. I have been planning out stuff and doing like a few little things. So now... We're going to get to it. I think I'm going to film the pod here in a little bit. Keep you guys updated. Traumatized. 
Good morning. I vlog yesterday after the fiasco because I was traumatized. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I was in the shower for like 20 minutes and I did not care that I was using up all the hot water. I really need to take another shower when I get home. Anyway, is today Tuesday? Yep. Today's Tuesday. I'm so out of it today. I'm Guess what? Hmm. You know how I'm on a book buying ban? Uh huh. The series that I'm reading right now, I couldn't find the fourth book. When. You cheated it. What? You cheated the book buying ban, didn't you? No. Okay. I'm saying that the series I'm reading, I only have the first three books. And I, because I couldn't find the fourth book in a physical copy at Barnes whenever I was there. Mm -hmm. And the other day I went to the Plainfield Barnes and they had it. But I can't buy it and I'm on the third book and gonna finish the third book today. I don't have the fourth one. I can't buy a Kindle book. <laughs> you need me to buy it for you? No. <laughs> I can't believe we played pickleball. I, I like loved it. it. You loved it. <laughs> I loved playing. It was fun. It didn't seem like you loved playing. <laughs> Such a beautiful neighborhood you have here. <laughs> I'm so sad to leave. You can stay. No, I got so sad. I'm so sad to leave. You can stay. No. I love the smell of fresh cut grass. But it's so scary at night. Last <laughs> night, Isaac and everybody went to the gym and I was at home alone and I had all the doors open. Not like the front doors, not the front doors, but I had all of their doors open. <laughs> I was not taking any chances to take the back roads home. Kentucky Ave. I love taking the back roads home. I play my little country music and I act like I live back there. I'll take you down there one day. There's this one house I like, has a lot of land. There's some nice houses down here. Yeah, but it had land and a bunch of horses and cows. Why are you so obsessed with cows? Horses. What do you want from Starbucks? What are you getting? I'm saying there's every single day. The usual. Yeah. Are we getting a food item today? <laughs> that was me when I worked there. And are we gonna be eating anything today? Lexi, if you're watching this vlog, you literally left the Sonic cup in here. What are you doing today? What's your plan? Uh, work. About the warehouse. That's so interesting. <laughs> I hate ordering a drink. Hi, can I do a venti ice white mocha with seven pumps of vanilla and vanilla cold foam, please? Jeez. And then can I do one of your bacon goudas? Yeah, bacon gouda, breakfast sandwich. Can I get you anything else? <laughs> Um, can I just do a tall ice white mocha with vanilla yeah. cold foam, please? You're talking tall all that crap ice big dog. white mocha with vanilla cold foam. Can I do anything else? That's gonna be it. Why'd you take the camera? <laughs> I don't want them to see me. <laughs> I don't want them to see me with it. <laughs> you always record you then? No! No! Isaac, no. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, don't. <laughs> Seriously, don't. Oh, they're gonna think that it's like a prank show. Like no, I'm gonna act on. like you're famous. No. Yeah, well, I gotta get my Starbucks app I, up. I'm looking away from the other side. What do you mean? Scan. Nope, I pay. Nope, I pay. Nope. Oh, don't get my card information. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. Not feeling what? And how good you this goes. <laughs> We've been together too long. He knows all my tricks. No, how does it feel? Come on, bear. Just do the bear. <laughs> Obviously, there's an out, cha out change. That sounds about right. There's an outfit change that just happened because I'm going to the gym. I literally just got home, brought all my stuff upstairs, and now we are going to the gym. Today's back and biceps day. I'm going to the gym. It's literally two o'clock, but genuinely, I can't just like 
do any of my stuff without going to the gym. I have to go to the gym first and then we're gonna have a long day and night ahead of us because this morning I woke up and I finished Killer Instinct and that's the second book in the natural series. And then I started All In. And so I was doing that because I woke up this morning and I literally felt this like overwhelming sense of anxiety over multiple different things, over videos, over how many books I've read this month. Like it was just very bad. So I was like, let me finish that really quick. But I'm in the middle of editing the week of my life vlog and I need to send that over today for so much. Ugh. I feel like suffocated. I don't know. I'm having a very bad anxious day and whenever I have really bad anxiety and like I'm stressing over everything I start literally like tearing myself apart in my brain and I can't really focus on things but I walked into my room my room is a literal mess and I just don't have time to clean it today but it just sucks because I'm like aware of how much of a mess it is oh also on top of everything else guess what I did I'm driving and it like I'm like okay I have to film the podcast like I need to put my camera battery on charge I left the camera battery charger at Isaac's house because one time if you guys watched the week of my life on the first like time that I went to Bloomington I forgot my camera battery charger I didn't have it and I was like oh man so like I always make sure that I bring it with me to Bloomington but I still had it plugged into the wall and I had it like behind like plugged in behind the chair so I didn't see it when I was doing like the sweep of the room like with my eyes to make sure I wasn't leaving anything and the yeah, I was driving and I was like oh that's great so I have another camera that I like never really use but I don't know where that camera battery charger is at mm, okay I can't talk about it anymore because I'm genuinely getting so stressed and I'm about to just shotgun this Alani because I'm also so freaking tired because I woke up this morning like I said very extremely anxious and so i just sat in the room and started editing and reading so ah! <sighs> okay i need to go get my nails done tomorrow watch this trigger warning oh man that was a good workout i had a <gasps> hello everybody i am back home from the gym i think the gym's the last thing i vlogged when i was coming home from the gym and I stopped talking because I had the windows down just loud, okay? And that's not what you guys are here for. You guys aren't here for like very interruptive experiences. You guys are here for a good, actually, not very calming. I, I have literally had a very eventful past few hours. And I've also successfully procrastinated until 10 o'clock at night to get everything that I need to get done. Okay, so how I told you guys earlier... Yeah, left my charger at Isaac's house for this camera. I literally still don't don't have that charger. And the, I guess the good thing is, is that tomorrow's Wednesday and then I'm going back down there Friday. So like, I'm gonna get it back on Friday. So I'm gonna try not to vlog a whole too much on this camera to save battery preserves. But anyway, even if whatever I can, oh, no, I can't vlog away. I'm going to edit for the rest of the night, maybe. I th Here's what my plan is. I want to edit the vlog and get that sent over. And then I want to try to read some of slash maybe finish all in. And then I want to start editing another video. I'm always so overly ambitious with what I want to do at 10 o'clock at night. Like, it's honestly so funny. It's so hilarious. I think any of that's getting done. But a girl can dream. Literally, I like watch these week in the life vlogs back. So I'm going to sit down. I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to do this. And I literally do none of it. I literally turn the camera off and go to bed. <laughs> Except if there's one thing I love doing, it's calling it a night. It's Wednesday, my dude. Oh. I'm sad again. Don't tell my boyfriend. Okay. impressive wasn't it my lip is swollen look at it oh what's going on oh. y'all what it hurts what is going on let me tell you guys about my crisis so i what's the last thing i vlogged i can't remember the last thing i vlogged but i went to the gym came back home and edited my we in the life vlog and sent that over and i was like Though, so I don't get burnt out editing, I'm going to take a break and read all in in between. And I'm literally going to read this until I finish it. Like, I'm going to just sit down and read this in one sitting. I'm literally already on page 120. Like, I was full on prepared to that. And I was like, okay, 
Then I'm going to edit my like number generator picks my read how long I read for a video, right? And then after that, I want to finish the series and read the final fourth and final book. Here's the problem. I don't have the fourth and final book. I don't have the physical copy of it. And so I was like, not a problem. The series is not on Kindle Unlimited. So I was like, okay. All right. Like, whatever. And I was like, you know what? I can use my Libby app that I've always used. I love using Libby. It's not sponsored, but it really should be because back like in 2021 i used to use libby religiously where libby is basically you just take your library card and you borrow books virtually from the library and so they had bad blood available so i went to borrow it but it's been a while since i used the app and so they were like oh just like put in your library card number so i did that and they keep on telling me oh there's an error there's an error like you need to go into a branch and basically like kind of like get a new card and then i tried to just like apply for a new card i was like you know i'm just gonna apply for a new card that didn't work either so i'm having a crisis because i really want to read the fourth book but i'm on a book buying ban and i feel like if i bought it virtually people would tell me that i'm breaking my book buying ban because i'm buying the book and i genuinely cannot wait until september to finish the series i can't do it i don't know what i'm going to do but i hate like the anxiety that i feel thinking about going into the library and trying to get a library card is insane on the bright side though i'm having a great time i absolutely love this series and that's why i am so like really want to read the last book because i'm loving the characters my favorite character in this whole entire series is sloan i feel like she is underrated like i literally love her so much and i'm happy because in this book we explore a little bit more of like her character because all of these books follow Cassie like she's the main character she's the only point of view you're ever in but you kind of start getting glimpses from Cassie's point of view into the others and stuff like that and we've kind of went into a bunch of other people's backgrounds but we've never really explored Sloane and she's been my favorite throughout the whole entire series because she's just so wholesome and now we're learning a little bit more about hers and this one takes place in vegas like it's just so fun these books are so fun and i love reading them and i'm like obsessed with the little like romance subplot and all the little different subplots with all everybody's like different backstories because basically this is the natural series it's the third book in it if you guys didn't know and it is about you're following a group of five teenagers they're like 17 they're about to be like 18 and they basically have these like gifts where they're really good at like certain things like our main character cassie is like a profiler then we have dean who's also good at that and then we have i was about to say cassie michael is really good at reading emotions leah is really good at telling if somebody's lying or not and then sloan's really good with like number statistics geography like all of that stuff like she's the brainiac she's like is it spencer reed in criminal minds like that's what she gives okay that's like her like him and her are like the same person maybe that's why i love her so much in the first two books you were obviously with cassie so you're learning all the stuff about her but then you learn a lot about like other characters and it's just so good it's so entertaining this is definitely like a young adult criminal minds they help out the fbi and use their special gifts to help the fbi and it's just so interesting i really want to read the last book but i i don't know i'm gonna have to figure this out <sighs> hello it's hours later and i just got done editing the podcast i've actually got a lot accomplished i didn't think i was going to accomplish today i didn't know that i could do the week of my life podcast and now i'm starting on the random number generator picks like how long that I read for the week. And what my plan is right now is that earlier I actually finished all in. Like I finished that book. That's what finishing the book means is that I'm done reading it. So I did that and now I think I'm going to try to like kind of rough cut this video. And then continue reading Bad Blood because I literally told everybody. I texted Sarah. I texted Isaac. I texted my mom. I went on my Instagram story going on a rant on how I told you guys earlier that I couldn't get on Libby. Whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Well, my mom, literally being the angel that she is, went out and got the book. And she's like, here. Since, because also today, July 26th, it just turned the 27th because it's midnight right now. Literally, it's midnight. I hit 100K on TikTok and my mom was like, I know you don't like me buying anything for you, but I'm giving you this book because you, basically she was kind of like, you won't shut up. And... You know it's for the 100k whatever so didn't break the book buying ban and my mom literally got me the physical copy of the book because she's a literal angel so i've read a little bit of it 
this is where I'm at. This book is a lot thicker than any of the books in the rest of the series. But yeah, I'm this far into the book right now. Seven, yeah, 73 pages in, but I'm really loving it. And All In didn't end on like a cliffhanger. Well, it did end on a cliffhanger. But, like none of the other books have really ended in a way where it's like, I mean, you, I obviously want to pick up the next book, but it's like you don't have to pick up the next book. Like you don't have to go straight into the next one. But the way that All In ended, it was like, oh wait, I need to like pick up the next book like i need to see what happens in it i'm very interested to see what turn this takes i did put this down though because i edited the week of my life and then i started to like upload all the podcast stuff and i got this well then i finished all in and then i got this and then i read it but then i stopped at page 73 because the plot was going one place and then it kind of stopped and now it like is going and taking on like a whole entire different plot. And I kind of wish that we just like stayed with the one plot. I do want to continue reading this. So I think I'm going to try to rough cut the random number generator video. And then I'm going to continue reading this book. I don't know. Do you guys even care about all of this stuff? Anyway, I'm reading the natural series. It's very good. Also on another note, tomorrow's the 28th. So that means I have the 28th, 29th, 30th. Is there only 30 days? Any days? Where'd my phone go? 31 one two three four days to read eight books <sighs> like we could get through it i don't know anyway oh no i was not tired now i just started yawning but i'm watching some sinjin drowning video and about to crack open second alani of the day different flavor though earlier i was drinking blue slush god i haven't played fortnite in forever do they still do the the blue drink do they still do that I went through a heavy Fortnite phase my freshman year of high school. I used to play it on my iPad. But I guys, I literally look so bad. I look so bad right now. Okay, I'm gonna go actually cry about how I look. Well, hello guys. It is currently It's currently thunderstorming. If you didn't infer that from hearing it. But it is like 1.50 right now. PM, obviously, it's literally daylight. I also don't understand, like, in my own brain, like, why I always, like, give you guys the time codes. If you guys care about that, then, like, let a girl know. Because sometimes I feel like, Destiny, why are you saying, like, what time it is? Like, no one really cares. But maybe you guys care, so feel free to let me know. I have spent the whole entire morning, like, I woke up this morning... I woke up this morning and the first thing that I did was I finished editing my random generator, number generator picks how long I read for a video. And then I had already had the podcast edited last night. So then I was doing the thumbnail for the video, doing the thumbnail for the podcast, trying to like get all of the links so Sarah can post them on the story, trying to like get some pictures for us to post on the Instagram. And now we're here. I've been working on a video, let's just say that. And I started it like two weeks ago right and i was like this is not gonna be hard like i'm just gonna read these books and the first book that i had to read for the video was this one children of fallen gods <sighs> this book has genuinely been so hard for me to get through i'm like 45 percent through the book right now i just don't know if i can do it i don't know if i can do it but i was talking to sarah about it because the reason i started reading the war of lost hearts series is what this is called is because Sarah loved Daughter of No Worlds, and then I read it, and I gave it a four stars, and I was like, hey, she, I, like, remembered that she was reading this book at one point, and I was like, hey, did you ever finish this book? Like, can you tell me if it is worth to continue on reading? And I've seen people rave about it, so I was very confused. But she said at, like, the 50% mark, things, like, get really crazy, and people, like, can't put the book down. So, what I'm about to try to do is I am about to try to get through to the 50% mark of this book and see if it gets any better than it has been. Because if not, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to have to DNF it. I don't want to because I enjoy the characters and everything. It's just the storyline that this book took and it added in another character's point of view that like you've never even met before. And that's kind of confusing for me. I'm also kind of confused as to like what's even happening in the book right now. If you guys... I feel like I can't talk through thunder. If you guys follow me on TikTok and you guys saw the TikTok that I made where it was like what it sounds like when you're reading politics and fantasy, I made that because of this book. Because I was trying to read through this book and I genuinely, I, maybe I just don't have the brain power to like understand. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe that's what it is. But I am going to try to get through a little bit of this book and give myself, I was giving myself a little break while also working still. I'm going to see to see if i can actually get through this book i don't know and it's literally the 27th i have just a few days left of august and my actual like nine book tbr that i made for this month 
I haven't read a single book on it. Quite literally have not read a single book on it. We're starting off with this one. I feel so weird because I feel like I've barely vlogged all week because I've been worried about conserving my battery. It is Friday and it's 3.40 in the afternoon. I have lived many lives today. I do want to update you guys and say that I actually finally finished Children of Gods. I finished that yesterday and currently I'm reading Red Rising, which is over there. I think I'm like 30-ish, 40-ish percent through that book right now. It's a hard, hard feat. Whatever people say, it's kind of hard, but also I need to look this up. But yesterday when I was reading on my Kindle, it was at 90% and usually my Kindle battery can last like super long. Like it lasts a very, very long time. It keeps on flashing this message. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't, I literally just got this Kindle not even two months ago. So I'm a little concerned. So I don't know what to do. Maybe I can return this to Amazon and then send me a new one. But the thing is, is that this is in the like agave green color and they no longer, or they're not selling this one right now. I don't know, but I wouldn't want the black one. I want the agave green. And I don't know what is wrong with my Kindle. And the last time that I tried to restart a Kindle, it never ever, turn back on. Me and Kindle problems lately have been having a lot. Well, I went to Home Goods this morning because me and my mom went to breakfast and then we went to Home Goods because Home Goods was right by the restaurant. And I got some fall stuff that I'm gonna bring in later. So I'm about to go to Target and Barnes because I want to do a little back to school giveaway that I want to put together. Stay tuned for that. I'm also trying to plan out a giveaway for whenever I hit 200k. I want that to be a special thing as well. Don't know when that is going to happen. If that happens, I don't know, but I do want to start planning it. So I am going to go to Target and Barnes. I also did get in another package today. It's my American Eagle package, but I think in the next week of my life that I'm going to start on Monday, I'm going to do a little fall clothing haul because that's what all of these clothes are because listen, like I said, in August I start thinking about fall and all the cute fall clothes are sold out by the time that it's actually in season. So with decorations, with clothes, everything, I start to get it, you know, early. So anyway, that's the stitch. Also, these are the glasses if you watched the last week of my life that I got. That is kind of like all I've been up to. I have seven books to get through. So that's awesome. Dakota found this to be an appropriate time to rile up Charlie. Hello everybody. Putting on some lotion because I just took my little night bath. And now I am just getting ready, not getting ready for bed because I actually kind of need to get a lot of stuff done. What needs to be done is as follows. I have to read a bunch of books. I'm in the middle of Red Rising, but genuinely I'm gonna have to put that book down for right now because I just think I'm too stupid for that book, quite literally. I feel like it's a super high fantasy, like it's a sci-fi, so it technically is fantasy in a way. It's like fantasy, it's like sci-fi dystopian, and I just feel so, so dumb while reading. Also, this lighting is terrible. I just feel way too stupid when I'm reading it and I literally am getting zero of what's going on. I like started off the book feeling that way and I started understanding what was going on and now I'm right back to not understanding. That is great. So I am doing my skincare. That way I am just ready and ready to go to just sit and read. That's basically all we're doing. I feel like this week in my life is not that good. But then again, I kind of hate every single week in my life that I do. I don't hate them. It's just that I like think that I'm so boring. Unless the week in my life was like genuinely something that I feel like people are like, oh, I love this so much. Da, da, da. I don't know. Anyway, I'm having a very bad mental time right now, which I feel like is a lot lately. Anyway, I'm feeling like so out of it. Like, this week has just kind of been a very not chill very stressful week in my life i had a lot of stuff sometimes the month the end of the month is like very busy and this month especially because i put myself into a video slump where i had a lot of things due at the end of the month so it was very stressful because of no one else except for me like i cause myself that stress it reminds me of when i was in high school and i used to wait until the very last minute to do like assignments that needed to be turned in so i would stay up all night the night before an assignment needed to be turned in and i would just sit there and cry i would sit there and cry because i'd be like oh my god i'm so stressed but then i would literally be like destiny like you are the reason that you're stressed like if you would have done this assignment when you first got it you would be fine. So I also went into Barnes and I was buying some gift cards and books for a giveaway that I'm doing. And I was buying some and I ran into this 
amazing and wonderful woman and we had a conversation literally one of the best conversations that i've ever had with somebody she told me that she watched my youtube videos which i when people come up to me in public like they care enough to watch my videos they care enough to watch them repeatedly and then they care enough to like come up to me in public it's always so mind-blowing to me and this woman was literally so sweet. She was so knowledgeable. We sat there and talked about like Sarah J. Mass, Akitar, Crescent City. And she was just like an absolute delight. That was the best part of my day was stopping and talking to her. And I absolutely love talking to her. She was just, like I said, just so sweet. And like we had such, such a good conversation. Like it was genuinely one of the best interactions that I've ever had. Also, the other day I was in Hobby Lobby with my mom and this sweet angel came up to me and she also was like oh my gosh hi like i watch your videos and she had told me that she like was saving my video for later and she watches sarah vid sarah's videos as well and she was also so sweet i just really love having interactions like that because it's so nice also to like see you guys face to face like i love meeting you guys and seeing you guys face to face and being able to kind of like put faces to who watches my videos and it's also just always so sweet to see like people actually i don't know like it's very heartwarming and i think about that stuff on bad days like your guys's positive comments and interactions that i have with you guys that just warm my heart forever genuinely if you have ever like came up to me or if you ever will in the future i just want to let you know that i will literally probably remember every single interaction i have remembered every single interaction of anybody like if you've ever came up to me I, I remember you. I remember you 100% and I appreciate all of you guys. I just want to say that because I was just thinking about that. I was thinking about that interaction earlier today and then earlier in the week and it just makes me so thankful, especially like in the hard moments that people care about me, care about my videos, care about my opinions. It's just like I'll never get used to that, especially when you guys are so sweet and you guys comment, post edits and stuff and I just will never ever get used to it and i just almost can't put words on it of what it means to me genuinely it means absolutely so much to me and i just want to let you guys know like nothing goes unnoticed and i love you guys so so much also to completely 180 what i was just saying i have been putting aquaphor on my lips it's a healing ointment because i genuinely last week in my last week of my life vlog which i was surprised that no one noticed this i kind of wanted you guys like tell me why this was happening I was waking up like every single day last week and my bottom lip was like three times its size. Like it was like so swollen, like I couldn't move it. Like it literally looked like I got like stung by a bee or something. And I was like, I don't know why my lip is so swollen. But then I think maybe my lips were trapped, but like that has never happened before. My lips genuinely like swelled out because of it. And so I've been putting Aquaphor on and it feels like it's helping also like my lips were dry and chapped so maybe that's what it was but anyway i have been doing that it's just a scary thing like i kept on going downstairs with my parents every morning being like literally look at my lip look at it it is so big like why is it so big and my parents are just like don't know what to say to you babe took matters into my own hands and got aquaphor i know girlies love aquaphor can you put this like anywhere helps protect from the drying effects of wind and cold weather Ooh, cool so that's what i've been up to so i think for the rest of the night I am just going to try to get some work done, try to get some books read. So that's what we're doing. Um, I think I'm going to go downstairs and sit with my mom. And also because when I sit down, I am more likely to stay up. So there's that. I think I'm going to watch New Girl. And I think I'm going to start Bingeful. Bingeful, I think. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up early and we're going to go to the gym. And I'm going to go down to Bloomington and continue reading <laughs> continue working so i'm glad though that i'm going down to bloomington tomorrow because i feel like this vlog sucks because i have barely vlogged on my camera because as we've already stated multiple times in this video that i don't have the camera battery charger so i've been trying to preserve battery life but honestly this camera's battery stays for a very long time like longer than any camera that i've ever had i don't know why but i'm impressed canon so anyway i'm going to continue with my work for the night and i have i will probably honestly see you guys in the morning good morning i think that these pajamas that i wore last night are so cute i love these little sleep shorts i got them from target and then just having my little crew neck on i think it's so cute my room is a mess but you know what that's that's a problem for tomorrow me to deal with oh and guess what remember last night when i was like my bottom lip was swollen it hasn't done that it's doing it literally it's doing it allergic reactions or medical conditions affecting the skin nerves or facial muscles 
dental work can also be a trigger. General consensus, I don't know, because I don't have any allergies. I got dental work done like two weeks ago, but it wasn't anything. It was just like a teeth cleaning. I don't know. I don't know why I'm waking up and my lips are swollen, but it's annoying. I need to go to the gym and I have to pick up Charlie some dog food. And then we are going down and I'm going down to Bloomington and I'm leaving tomorrow and coming back down and starting a new week in my life vlog. I think that they, or I know Isaac has to like work up at the store. I don't know. I don't know. I have a lot to do. Okay guys, I am ready for the gym. It's 7.30, I'm about to grab an Imani and head out the door. This is what we're working with today. We're here in pigtails. And how cute, we have my Marvel shirt and my orange shorts on. Leg day, Saturdays are leg days, which kind of suck because in the mornings the gym is packed on Saturday, so it's hard for me to get in all of my stuff. Good luck to me, I guess. Hello. What was the last thing that I filmed? I literally can't remember. I am leaving right now to go down to Bloomington. Oh, oh. Today was one of those days where Charlie was looking at me and I could tell she didn't want me to leave. Like usually when she's fine, but she's just mad at me. This is kind of funny to like explain how my dog's emotions work because you just know. Usually like when she sees me like either packing a bag or in the morning knowing that I'm going to the gym, she will like run downstairs and go and sit in front of my mom because she's mad but she's not like upset about it. Today, she was sitting in front of me and literally would not like leave my room and didn't want to leave. She wanted to be right up on me as I was like packing all of my stuff. And it made me so sad because I was literally like, oh my God, she just wants me to stay home. So it was really hard to leave today, but I'm going to be back tomorrow, like morning. Also, if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, which you should, and I actually hit 100K on TikTok, did I already talk about this? I think 100K on TikTok? I think I did. Anyway, I have been doing like little updates in kind of real time about my book buying band. I've been doing like little weekly updates on there and I did one before I left and I was like, hey, yeah guys, like I think the last time that I did an update was like two weeks ago and I was like, guys, I know that some of y'all may think that my radio silence means that I broke my book buying band and I didn't even when I wanted to because even yesterday when I had to run into Barnes to get stuff for the giveaway I was like looking at the books and just kept adding books to my I have a notes app note I have a notes page in my notes app and I it's just titled books to buy after ban and it just grows every single day it grows and I was just like looking at all like I cannot wait for September to genuinely just like I'm gonna sit in a Barnes Noble for literally probably three hours I kid you not because I went to Barnes with Mila and got her books, but I didn't really let myself look. I like looked into one aisle and then I was like, I can't do this, I have to like go home. And then I like went yesterday just to grab a few things and get out of there. And I literally, I was like, I can't, I cannot. Like I, I can't wait until September and I'm gonna just sit there. I'm just gonna sit and bask in it. I just, I'm gonna go to the big Barnes and I'm just gonna walk around and I'm gonna have a good grand old time. Also, I feel so tired right now. Like a wave of tiredness just hit me and it's like not good because I have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> 